Okay, now te I'm testing this larger motor. Um, everything is connected right now. Sensors are connected. It took me, it took me a while to figure out <clears throat> the whole sequence. Um, uh, it's interesting that uh, it's not the same as with this motor, the smaller one. So here what we have is, so there kind of interestingly so there so this is the way they are kind of wired here for exit so this is first second and third however they're they're marked a and then b here and then for some reason where's the c the c is here it's the same same way this motor is also um, uh, wired so you have C first A in the middle and then and then you have your um, B here so from that <clears throat> perspective it's the same and it matches exactly so this is a a is uh, yellow so this is yellow so that's the way the controller is wired so basically you have your a here a blue is b and c is the green so <clears throat> however the wires on this small motor uh, whole sensors are not uh, the same match I mean they would be I in theory so these colors should match the phase colors right that would that would make sense but here I needed to swap so if I if I put them here so I needed to swap that's the way it's uh, connected so I need to swap the, so you have yellow we have yellow, green, and blue there, but here I needed to do the uh, swap green and and uh, yellow. So that way I get a good combo, and I think it it spins clockwise if you face the motor. If you look on the from the top, <clears throat> so so this motor is good. It's figured out, so you can do up to. Five, uh, few, uh, 5,000 at least, 5,000 RPMs, but possibly more, it's probably 7,000. So this does look like it's a um, um, 50K wired motor. So, however, this motor, interestingly, if I have the uh, whole sensors connected, oh, let me finish this one, by the way. So here, colors kind of match here with, with this, uh, sequences matching for the phase however the holes are completely kind of messed up here and I'll show you so you have your yellow uh, green blue on the controller side and on the motor side you have your green blue yellow so it's it's uh, reversed it's not exactly reversed but um, he has no, not none of the colors match at all. So on that controller, at least blue one matches, but the here it just uh, is just completely different. So blue in the middle. Here blue uh, on the left. Okay, I mean closer to me, and then uh, green in the middle here, and uh, in the middle here, and green is on the uh, side here. So interestingly, I don't know if they just randomly put colors or what what the deal is that's kind of a not really really convenient we need to figure out why they why they do it differently on different motors i mean this is not exactly very convenient but anyway i just figure out the the uh, sequence right now so i got a clockwise rotation here and now it's all sensors are connected so i'm gonna spin the motor And I'm getting uh, 
Let's see. I'm getting. <laughs> So maybe up to 1700 RPMs and that's at the voltage of uh, um, 92 volt so that's uh, that's interesting looks like this one has a, a lower KV I don't know how much lower but uh, maybe maybe not I don't know if that has to do with the hole sensors or something so let's disconnect the holes and see how different it's gonna run so um, disconnecting it okay disconnected now let's run it So it appears to me that uh, it spins much faster without hole sensors. So that's strange, really. I, I would think maybe I got the whole sequence wrong. It's interesting, but maybe it, it's worthwhile to check with the manufacturer what the uh, hole sequence at least colors, what would be A, B, C for the hole. But it may be just a lower KV, so it's uh, or maybe what what may happen also. So it pulls pulls 15 amps, full RPMs, and uh, when holes are connected, it pulls only 10 RPM. I mean 10 uh, amps, not RPMs, but 10 amps. Um, it may be pulling. It just what I do is just I limited the amps because of the wiring. Uh, anyway, I mean it works without any stuttering, so that's a good sign. But holes kind of limit the the speed, um, so it may be that this motor needs to be geared differently than than this motor because um, it may have a lower KV, which I can't exactly tell because. It, it works without holes connected works more or less I mean fast I need to measure how much how many rpms we're talking about but I think. anyway I mean it works so that's a good news